What's up guys? Today I'm going to show you how you can make any location more cinematic at night with lighting and colored gels. Many new filmmakers spend way too much time focusing on cameras and gear and getting all caught up in that kind of stuff when they should be spending so much more time focusing on lighting, composition, and storytelling. So we decided that we wanted to add another little short scene to our series Skyward. So I started location scouting online like I usually do, and you can check out a full tutorial on how to do this that I have linked up in the card above. So I found this awesome footbridge that's all made of metal and spiraling, and is just futuristic and perfect for this little short scene that we want to film. Here's what the bridge looked like in the middle of the afternoon with all natural lighting. Now, we could have chosen to film our little short scene in the middle of the day, if it fit the story. A lot of new cinematographers are afraid to shoot at night and they put their cameras away once the sun goes down. But we love the challenge that the nighttime presents. It allows us to light things exactly how we want to. Let's take a look at the short scene we made right now and be sure to stick around because I'm gonna show you behind the scenes on how we lit it, shot it, and why the cops even showed up. There were no lights on this bridge and it was actually very dark. There was just one street lamp kind of shining in. So we had to get creative and light it ourselves. We lit this scene almost entirely with two cheap little newer LED lights that are portable and anybody can afford. We wanted to get a futuristic, almost sci-fi look. So we decided to gel each of the lights with a blue gel that I have right here and also a red gel. So that just gave it this really cool color cast onto the sides of the bridge that totally brought it to life and made it look so much more interesting than if we had just lit it with plain white light. There were also a few scenes where we really needed to backlight it so you could see the character. This is a super common technique when lighting at night. It allows you to see your subjects but still keep the appearance of night and not being overly lit and bright. In this particular scene, we just threw our little battery powered LED on the floor and pointed it directly towards camera. You could see how this silhouetted his body as he was running through. You can see here where we have no backlight on, how the character just blends right into the background and is almost totally in black. Just doesn't look cinematic at all. So this is where we decided to set up my source for light. And this is actually where things got kind of crazy. I don't have any super powerful LEDs that are battery powered. So I actually had to use my Source 4 to backlight this and that has to be plugged into power. So luckily my Tacoma has a full size port in the back where you can plug in like an extension cable. So the crazy thing is that the cops actually showed up to our shoot and they got a call that there was a guy in a trench coat and that he was like trying to commit suicide or something. And we were like, what the heck are you talking about, man? And then the wheels started turning and we realized, oh, our character in the show is wearing like a big black coat. And oh yeah, we did throw an extension cord off the side of the bridge and someone might have mistaken that for something else. So it was just crazy. But we cleared things up with the officers and we just told them, hey, we're just filming a little video for YouTube. They were actually super cool and just wanted to know how long we were going to be there in case they got any more crazy calls like that. So they left and we kept on rolling. You could see how lighting, backlighting, and using colored gels in your scene can dramatically affect the quality of your films and make them look so much more cinematic at night. Guys, if you want to learn how to light and shoot better videos, subscribe right now. I have so many more videos coming out on shooting editing, everything like that. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video.